Hello students, myself Sagar Choksi from LJ Institutes of Engineering and Technology. So, in previous session, we have started different incentive plan and we have already completed major three incentive plan. First one that is Taylor's differential piece rate. Number two that is Merrick's differential piece rate. And third one that is Rowan's plan. Okay, so in today's lecture, we are going to start a new chapter that is industrial legislation. So in today's session, we are going to discuss about basic concept of industrial legislation. Number two, need for industrial legislation. And third one that is industrial legislation act, industrial legislation law. Okay, so let's start the lecture, lecture number 23 that related to industrial legislation. So now the question is what do you understand by industrial legislation? So industrial legislation is nothing but industrial act or you can take industrial law. Each and every industry, each and every factory must follow that particular law. Okay, for example workman's compensation law we will see in next slide. For example, workman's compensation law, number two that is industrial dispute act. So each and every act that followed by the industry. Okay, so what do you understand by industrial legislation? First of all, what is the goal of industrial legislation? So to improve industrial relations, to improve industrial relationship. Number two that is function. What is the function of industrial legislation? To protect the worker from exploitation by the employers. Okay, it is very important to protect the workers from the exploitation by the employees or employers. Okay, so this is what industrial legislation. Industrial legislation that related to industrial act, industrial funda that followed by each and every industry. Okay, either you can take a small factory, you can take MNC company each and every factory that follow this particular act. Okay, this is what industrial legislation. So now what is the goal of industrial legislation? So to pro promote better environmental condition in the industry. To promote better environmental conditions in the industry, it generally related to your organization. Okay, ultimately what is our goal? Our goal is clear we have to improve our productivity, we have to improve our profit. Okay, so this is what uh, industrial legislation. Fourth one that is objective. So what is the objective of industrial legislation? So to minimize unfair treatment to the worker from management, to minimize unfair treatment to the worker from management. This is what industrial legislation objective. So these are the basics of industrial legislation. Industrial legislation is nothing but industrial act that followed by each and every industry. Okay, so move forward to next slide. Next question is industrial legislation act. So there are mainly four different types of industrial legislation act that followed by the each and every factory. First act that is factory act 1948. Factory act 1948 that generally related to worker, generally related to worker safety, ergonomics purpose. So this is what Factory Act 1948. We will see uh, in next slide Factory Act 1948. Number two that is Industrial Dispute Act. What is Industrial Dispute? Which are the objectives of Industrial Dispute? Okay, so what this is what Industrial Dispute. Third one that is Workman Compensation Act 1923 and fourth one that is Trade Union Act 1926. So these are the different types of industrial legislation act that followed by each and every industry. Okay, so this is very important. So move forward to next slide. Next and important act that is Factories Act 1948. First and important act that is Factories Act 1948. So Factories Act 1948 is basically related to worker safety work. So first one that is to provide protection to the worker employed in the factories against industrial hazards. 
okay this is very important to provide protection to the worker ultimately what is our task our task is to improve our productivity ultimately the basic what is the base base is worker okay so to protect the worker employed in the factory against industrial hazards okay number 2 that is to maintain health and safety in the organization it is very common third one is to establish and to maintain working hours and rest hours for the worker okay fourth one and important one that is to decide annual leave for the worker and fifth one that is to decide the eligibility of the worker okay so these are the different objectives of factory act 1948 our task is clear we have to improve our productivity we have to improve our profit so that to provide protection to the worker by the employers number 2 to maintain the health and safety of the organization this kind of work is very important to establish and maintain working hour to and rest hour for the worker fourth one that is to decide annual leave and to decide eligibility of the worker so this act is basically depend on worker and worker efficiency and you can take worker salary worker annual leave and to decide the eligibility of the worker so this is what factory act 1948 so move forward to next one that is industrial dispute act 1947 so now the question is what do you understand by industrial dispute act first of all what do you understand by industrial dispute okay because it is very important to know about industrial dispute so industrial dispute is nothing but a dispute or difference between employers and employees or between employers and workmen okay this is what industrial dispute this act followed by the industry so it is very important to know about the basic definition of industrial dispute it means any dispute or difference between employers and employees or between employers and worker okay so it is very important number 2 that is objective of industrial dispute act 1947 to secure and preserve good human relation between employers and employees to secure and preserve good relationship between employers and employees third one is goal what is the goal of industrial dispute act 1947 to decide and give suitable payment of compensation to worker that related to wage incentive plan we have already completed five types of wage incentive plan we, we have already completed the difference between five types of incentive plan one that is to decide and impose penalties for break of provision of act so that related to your organization to decide and impose penalties to impose penalties for break of any rules break of any provision of act so basically industrial dispute is nothing but a relationship between or dispute or difference between employers and employees or between employers and workmen so it industrial dispute is very important okay fifth one is to prevent illegal strikes and lockouts in the factory so this is what industrial dispute act in industrial dispute act it is very important to know about industrial dispute industrial dispute is nothing but the difference between employers and employees or between employers and workmen number 2 the function function is clear to secure and preserve good human relations between employers and employees number 3 that is goal to decide and give suitable payment of compensation to worker in this particular step we have already completed different types of wage incentive plan okay so that related to wage incentive plan fourth one that is objective to decide and impose penalty for break out of provision of act and last one that is to prevent illegal strike and lockouts in the factory this is what industrial dispute act industrial dispute act that create a good relation a uh, good relation between employers and employees okay so that's it so that's it for today's lecture in today's lecture we have completed two types of industrial legislation act first one that is factory act and number two that is industrial dispute act so in next session we will discuss about workman compensation act and trade union act so thank you thank you very much